your sibilance, bro, I want your sibilance. Your sibilance, baby, where your sibilance? Where your sister? What's damn, fam? Now look, we got a lot. We, you know, we're on a lot. We're on the final countdown of Moptopia. And now I'm gonna just film these videos and get them over right now so I don't have to, so I don't have to hear y'all nothing about it if I don't get it right on time. You feel me? Nobody sees that glitch with my shirt right now? The high and low beams? Come on. Nobody see that shit? Just me? Okay. But that shit gonna bug me all video. Like, watch. I'm gonna point. Like, it's gonna bug me all videos. But as my shirt is changing colors magically. Um. This is going to be a new video segment I'm calling Dr. Mar. Now, this will be a relationship advice segment, me giving relationship problems to any problems I've heard throughout the week. Of course, I'll be changing the names to keep it, like, secret and secretive. But if you see me in school and you want to ask me a relationship problem, and I give you that relationship advice, then don't expect, don't be surprised when you hear it on here, because I'm a tell. But I'ma keep it when nobody knows. Got it. Got it. Now the first patient we have just no. We're gonna call him Robert. Actually we're gonna call him Nike. So Nike. Nike is dating this one girl named Abri Versace. Nike and Versace are dating. They've been dating for a couple months now. And Nike and Versace get in trouble. So Nike and Versace get in trouble. And they're forced to go on a break. Right? So Nike and Versace go on a break. Now Nike and Versace really do love each other. They really do care for each other. But in that break process other other people were talking to Nike and other people were talking to Versace so when they did eventually come back together they had the chemistry was totally off Nike came up to me one day explained this whole situation was like Shamar me and Versace's chemistry is just out of whack me and Versace don't have anything to talk about anymore we'll be on the phone for like five minutes max and that's about it and after those five minutes she get on the phone with um, a person she'd been talking to in the past and no, a guy she was talking with over the break, and like I don't know how to do this anymore. It's really starting to hurt me, Shamar. I don't know if she's my girlfriend anymore. We're just friends anymore. And I walked up to Nike, and I was like, Nike, it's okay. Take a deep breath, deep breath in, and deep breath out. He said, Shamar, what am I supposed to do? My shirt is over here changing colors. No one see this? Like I'm trying to make it do it. I don't even know how to make it do it. whatever. But um. We he come with me and said I don't know what to do. I said, Nike, if you really love Versace like you say you do, talk to her. Help, um, make sure she understands how you feel. Make sure she you understand how she feels. And then he did. And the next day he came back to me and was like, Versace was basically telling me how I'm not there for her, and that she felt lonely, so she found somebody to keep fill the void. And then I told Versace that's not typically okay. No, I told Nike that's not typically okay. Me and Versace are not friends. But I told Nike that's typically not okay. I understand where Versace is coming from because Versace is lonely. She needed some company. But you're her boyfriend. She should have just said, babe, I'm lonely. Spend more time with me. And you would have tried to do this. You would have tried to um, um, be there for um, Nike. And Nike was sad. And I was like, Nike, if you really can't be for her, be there for her right now, you need to let her go. And let her know you can't be for her, be there for her right now. You can't be that guy she needs right now. I mean, you might be able to continue this later on in the future, but you can't be that guy right then and there. Like, it's not gonna work. So yeah, that's what um Nike eventually did break up with Versace and Nike. Nike is doing okay. I um, mean, I haven't talked to Nike in a minute. I'll talk to him tomorrow at school and ask him how he's okay, how is he doing. But Nike is doing better. Um, again, not friends with Versace. Don't give a fuck about Versace. But Nike is doing better. And now that Nike is doing better, he is moving on and looking for other 
females because he's now can be available but he realizes that's not okay for a female to do and ladies out there that's not okay for you to do to find another guy because your fella is not available at the moment he goes through stuff you're supposed to be there for him ride or die with him not okay now that you're down i'm gonna kick you while you're down and go find somebody else and ride off into the sunset with some other nigga no that's kind of messed up but nike learned the hard way and nike learned his lesson and now he's doing fine Alright, vlog. I hope y'all like this new segment. I mean, boom, vlog. Alright, mafia. Yeah, I hope y'all like this new segment. I've been kind of stressing lately. I'm gonna kind of like stop stressing, mafia. So y'all expect more videos from me soon. Cause band practice is about to get, stop getting so like stressful and stop being so late. We finished all the important stuff. It's straight grind. It's not even grind no more. It's like two more games in the season. We gotta finish the season out strong and. I know I said something about a band trip. Y'all get a story talking about that later, though. But, yeah. All right, Mafia. Remember, every day is a challenge. She faced that day with a new challenge. Mafia, I love y'all. Smack the subscribe button. Smack the like button. And leave a comment because I love y'all. Mafia, we out. Peace.